Hello, I'm Dr. Michael Galizzi from Denver, Colorado, and today we'll be covering the technique for bone marrow aspiration from the vertebral body using the Vortex Threaded Recovery Needle from Arthrex via a percutaneous approach. This approach is ideal for posterior, transforaminal, and lateral approaches where the patient is maintained in a single position throughout the entirety of a procedure. The patient is prepped using a standard draping technique for your approach. An example of a standard draping technique for a posterior approach is shown. Note, the use of a C-arm is recommended to assist with proper targeting for this approach. With the C-arm in the AP position, identify the patient's midline. A radio-opaque instrument such as a bone marrow aspiration needle or a K-wire can be used to assist in identifying the location of the midline. Once the midline is identified, a reference mark is made to identify its location. The instrument is then used to mark the proposed trajectory. In this video, we are targeting the L4 right pedicle via percutaneous approach. The trajectory line is drawn and the instrument is then placed just outside the transverse process to create a target line. The target line is determined in relation to the patient's depth. The intersection of the trajectory line and the targeting line is the starting point. Using a 15 blade, an incision is made over the starting point all the way down through the fascia. The needle is then placed into the incision using fluoro to guide the location of the needle to the pedicle. Fluoroscopic shots are taken until the tip is aligned over the top of the pedicle and the proper trajectory for the needle is achieved. This is advanced on the AP fluoro shot to the medial wall of the pedicle. The C-arm is moved into the lateral position to determine the depth of the needle within the vertebral body, which should be in the posterior third of the body. The needle is then advanced, so the tip is in the anterior third of the body to prepare for aspiration. Insertion of the needle into the pedicle can be done one of three ways. Using a mallet to gently tap the top of the needle handle, by manually twisting the needle into the bone, or by using the needle's power adapter connected to a battery-powered drill. It is also acceptable to use any of these three methods in combination with each other. This technique for needle insertion can also be used in an open procedure as well. The inner stiletta of the needle is removed. You can clearly see the aspiration holes visible at the distal tip of the needle. The VacuLock syringe is attached to the lure lock on the top of the needle, making sure to hold the handle of the needle in your opposite hand to keep it from moving while the syringe is being attached. Stabilize the needle with one hand and pull back on the plunger of the VacuLock syringe with the other, twisting in a counterclockwise motion at the top to set the vacuum. As the syringe begins aspirating bone marrow, we recommend changing the depth of the needle after every two cc's of aspiration to maximize the concentration of osteoprogenitor cells collected. This is done by alternating between half turns and one and a half turns of the needle. The graduated markings on this syringe should be used to calculate the amount of bone marrow that has been aspirated. The unique design of the Arthrex Vortex needle allows for precise depth control by rotating the handle of the needle to control the position of the needle tip. Rotation of the needle changes both the depth as well as the position of the vent holes to maximize the aspiration area within the bone. When the desired amount of bone marrow has been aspirated, unscrew the syringe from the needle, making sure to hold the handle with your opposite hand to keep it from turning. After the syringe is removed, replace the stylet into the needle, making sure that it locks into place. Removal of the needle can be accomplished three ways. The first way is to unscrew by hand, turning the needle counterclockwise until it comes out of the bone. The second way is to pull the needle out by grasping the handle firmly with one hand and moving it in a back and forth motion until the needle pulls straight out. The final way to remove the needle is by powered removal. Using the power adapter on a battery powered drill and running the drill in reverse. It is also acceptable to use any of these three methods in combination with each other. After removal of the needle, always check the tip to make sure that all threads are present. 